Welcome back to another video guys. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Now that season five has been out for a good minute, right? They introduced new security features apparently added to Ricochet. We got TPM 2.0 and the secure boot feature. What's kind of funny is that they decided to add TPM 2.0 and secure boot right after Battlefield had announced that Javelin, their anti-cheat, is also doing the same method. I just wanted to start the video like that because it's just very very bad timing and it looks really bad on Activision's side to only announce this now that Battlefield has announced this. It's kind of like, why does it take a competitor to have you actually care about the anti-cheat? If you knew that it was this easy to implement these kind of features that quickly right after a competitor has announced it, why wasn't it done before? But hey, I'm not the marketing guy, right? They, you know, there could be a possibility that they knew that Battlefield was gonna announce something like that with their anti-cheat. So they kind of wanted to have that as a counter for marketing, maybe to take their attention off of Battlefield, to, to not make Battlefield look as good. But hey, with the Battlefield beta, I've played it really good game so far the graphics is nice the gameplay is nice in my opinion it just feels a little bit different being a cod player and that's totally fine battlefield can be battlefield call of duty can be call of duty and i think that's totally okay but this is not a call of duty versus battlefield video okay i really want to talk about tpm 2.0 secure boot and how those two features are supposedly going to stop cheats coming through in Call of Duty. So let's just read from the blog update first. I'm not gonna read the entire thing. I'm just gonna read what the security says here. Call of Duty will begin a phased rollout of two Windows security features, TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. TPM 2.0, trusted platform module, is an industry standard hardware-based security feature built onto CPUs or motherboards. It helps lock out PCs that have been tampered with from connecting to our game, making it harder to cheat. Secure Boot makes sure a PC can only load trusted software when windows start. Together, these features help us ensure that players are starting the game from a secure, cheat-free foundation. So let's start off with TPM 2.0, right? TPM 2.0 is basically a security chip that is in the CPU of a computer where Ricochet is now actually communicating with that security chip. Before, Ricochet didn't need to do that. Now that Ricochet is working hand in hand with TPM 2.0, what TPM 2.0 is a digital fingerprint of your computer. This chip is going to know everything about your computer from the serial numbers to your hardware IDs, to the programs, to the base Windows operating system that you're loading up. It knows everything before it even begins. It knows everything about the computer because it was built in with the CPU. So knowing this, right, since TPM knows your computer inside and out, this is going to stop a lot of people that are trying to spoof their way back into the game. There's a lot of rage cheaters out there who already have their hardware IDs banned on their PC. That means that even if they set up a new account where they're able to verify with an SMS text or with an actual phone number, say going through Steam rather than Battle.net, right, there's, there's workarounds like that. But if it's the same hardware ID that's already been flagged by Ricochet, Ricochet is still gonna recognize that even though it's a new account, it is still being used by a banned computer. Therefore, it's going to ban even that new account. So at that point, what cheaters need to do is they need to do a thing called spoofing. They're going to essentially use a program, whether it be a permanent program or whether it be a temporary program that they run on the computer that is going to change all the serial number IDs that is on the computer. So to keep it simple, if their hardware ID is 1234 and that's already recognized by Ricochet as being a banned hardware, they're going to use the program, run a permanent spoofer to change it from 1234 to 2468. And because 2468 hasn't been flagged down by Ricochet, that's why they can load up a new account and still continue cheating even though it's the same computer that they've already been banned on. And this is when TPM 2.0 comes into play. Even though you change your serial ID permanently before restarting your computer, or you try to change the numbers after starting up the computer and loading up Windows, because TPM is in conjunction with Ricochet, TPM is going to tell Ricochet, hey, don't load this guy up into the game because he is using a computer that has been tampered with. And this is where Secure Boot comes into play. What Secure Boot is, is a computer's 
I guess, procedure in regards to what gets loaded onto the computer upon startup. It's secure boot enabled. It's only gonna allow essentially the stock program that comes with the computer or a digitally trusted program that is not tampered with in any way. So if someone were to use like a cheat loader via USB trying to plug into the computer before startup, which I personally haven't seen that type of loader. I mean, I'm not that deep into the cheating scene. Uh, usually when I see cheat loaders, that's you're loading it after the Windows has already started up and you signed in and whatnot. So whether someone tries to load a cheat loader before Windows start up or after Windows startup, Secure Boot is going to come back and say, hey, you can't run this program or the cheat itself will not be able to run because it has to say, you know, please disable Secure Boot because majority of the cheats nowadays usually have to run Secure Boot disabled. So to simplify how a TPM and Secure Boot combo work is that TPM limits the user from changing their hardware IDs, serial hardwares on their computer, and Secure Boot makes sure that any program or software or loader that is entered into the computer is on the trusted list of programs that it's allowed to run. Now this brings the next question, right? Is this actually going to stop the cheaters from coming into Call of Duty? Unfortunately not. I mean, look at Valorant, right? Their Vanguard anti-cheat is pretty solid. You can't stop the cheating scene at 100%. It's unfortunate. The only way you can actually stop the cheating scene at 100% is that we start to have less shitty people in the world. But I digress, right? We're asking for miracles. We're expecting people to be good people. If that was actually possible we wouldn't be seeing all these issues in the world today so i did do a little research and these are the main cheats that are going to be hit by tpm 2.0 and secure boot off the bat is any cheats that use kernel mode drivers cheats that pretend to be legit hardware drivers to slip under anti-cheat detection boot level loaders programs that inject cheats into memory during your pc startup sequence and unsigned drivers the moment secure boot is on anything not digitally signed is blocked then we have these secondary cheats where it's still risky some coders will still have an issue trying to keep running these cheats but it's still possible to limit them it says over here these cheats still run inside windows but usually depend on disabling secure boot temporarily faking hardware IDs to avoid bans, modifying system files to hide processes from Ricochet. And the reason why these cheats struggle is TPM will tell Ricochet if Secure Boot was disabled, TPM's measurement logs can reveal if core files have been altered, and then hardware spoofing gets much harder because TPM ties the ID to real signed hardware. But from what I know so far and my personal knowledge on cheats, the only two types of cheats that are probably going to be slipping through the cracks on these is going to be DMA and any external overlay cheats that operate outside the game's memory. If you guys want me to make a video about DMA, kind of give a better explanation and how that type of cheat, which is a totally different animal of why that's not detected and why more cheaters are flocking towards DMA, let me know in the comments below and I can start that video. But if anything, guys, I hope that explanation kind of gives a bigger insight of how these two new security features that's going to be implemented Ricochet is going to somewhat stop the cheating scene. Not entirely, unfortunately. If you guys did enjoy the video, please drop a like on it. It helps it tremendously in the algorithm. And if you want to stay tuned for more in-depth breakdown videos like this, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to see you here for the next video, okay? As always, stay pure. Stay noble and hashtag bring back honest gaming. Later, guys.